Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, another unboxing for you today. And today is hopefully a new camera for the channel. Yes, the RX100 Mark II. So, let's open her up. So yes, here it is, the Sony, officially the DSC RX100 M2. We're just going to call it the RX100 Mark II for this uh, video today. So let's take it around the box really quickly. So as you can see on this side, we've got not much, just the, uh, the seal. We got some of uh, Sony's kind of sell you some more stuff, so I think it's like an extra kind of battery charger, which you don't get inside the box, which I think is really strange. The official case, and I believe that's the viewfinder. So I'll give you a quick look at those ones there. Just tells you the gas to the stamina mode, how many pictures you're roughly gonna get. In the back of it, it's just got more of the Mumfo Bumfo, so it takes memory sticks, it takes SDXC cards, um, it does double digital HDMI. And you can control it via your Android or iOS device, via Play PlayStation memories or Play memories, I think it is. And that's what you get inside the box. But, let's be honest, we're going to show what you get inside the box anyway. So, let's bring in my trusty, awesome unboxing knife. And let's hopefully we can get in this first time. Now, the reason why I've got this is quite a few people. Um, Gadgets Boy and Dave from Geekanoids. They've both got one, and they both say it's absolutely amazing. I've seen some other American tech YouTubers use it as well, and it, it just looks fantastic. And as you all know, I'm off to the Mobile World Congress um, this coming Friday. So I'm hoping to use this for most of the shops when I'm there. So I can uh, actually get it open. Whoa. And here she is. So, first of all, on top, we've got... What have we got? Um, we've got European Guarantee, don't forget to register it. You've got your product information guide, I believe. And then the Wi-Fi connection kit, which, let's be honest, what do I do with these normally? Yeah, just chuck them away. Never really going to need them. Well, I probably will need them, but I won't even read them. Um, some instruction information there. So we've got the camera here, first of all, which we'll uh, pop out and just put that to the side. We also have... This is the um, what you use to actually charge it. So you, you put your, in the UK, you put your actual prong into that one there for it wants to focus for me. So you put your plug into there, your eight, eight pin one. And then you put USB into there. And this is kind of like a mini converter, I believe, so you can actually charge the device, which is a bit annoying. They should have done it straight to the actual camera. But then again, it is a tiny camera, so I can kind of understand that, I suppose. You get your USB to micro USB. That's for the charging and for also syncing it if you want to sync it up to your computer because you can read it straight to your computer. And here we go. We also have the three pin UK plug adapter, which obviously if you're in a different country, you will get a different version of that one as well. And then last but certainly not least, we get the little uh, hand strap, which um, I'm a bit never too sure about using these. Um, I sometimes think they look a little silly, but it is an expensive kit, so you don't want to be dropping it. And I think that's probably about it, apart from... Yeah, we've got the battery and... Oh, we've got that as well. Forgot about them, little bad boys. So we've got the battery. And the battery inside this is an MPBX1, a 1240 milliamp hour one. So hopefully you can uh, just about see that there. And last but not least, this is last but not least this time. These you can actually put onto like a neck strap, so... Probably not something I'm going to be doing, or I don't envision me doing, but hey, you never know, dear. And let's just make sure everything's out of there. And it is, so we're just going to take it off to the side really quickly. And let's have a look at the actual beast itself, yes. And Gadget's boy who was asking me, yes, mine has come with a tag. Um, I don't know why yours hasn't, again. Um, so just that's just for Gadget's boy out there. And wabam, that feels sexy. Wow. That, that feels awesome. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit struck in how that feels now. I mean, they are about, they're about £550, about $700 in America at the moment. So they're not the cheapest. In fact, it is very expensive for a compact camera. But I'm hoping the video quality from this is going to give me something special for MWC. And from what I've seen, yeah, it does some pretty damn amazing video. So as you can see here, we've got the Cal Zeiss little uh, branding just about there. It's a 1.8 to 4.9 with 28mm to 100mm, I believe it is. So it's not super, super widescreen, but it should be good enough for what I want it for. On the side, you've got a little uh, Wi-Fi icon, which is... I can actually hook this up to my Android phone or iOS device and control it 
or send pictures across via the Wi-Fi. That's one of the things that swung me. I wasn't really fussed about it at first, but again, um, Gadget's probably like, no, no, it's a very good idea. On the top of it, you've got your pop-up flash, which um don't believe it can pop up at the moment. Obviously, you've got your on button, you've got your zooming in and out, your dedicated camera button, which you'd expect, dedicated camera button, different kind of modes on there. You've got a dedicated camera record button, a mover record button, so if you're taking a picture and you want to take a movie, boom, take a movie straight away. You've got different kind of options, little scroll wheel. This side of it here, you've got a, it's a HDMI, so I'll pop that out there, so you've got a HDMI uh, port there, which from what I can remember, a lot of people are saying the HDMI port is on the bottom, and maybe that's the Mark 1 version, I think this might be the Mark 2 got upgraded to there. And then also you've got your little micro USB as well, so you can actually charge it, sync it, hook it up, whatever you want to do. Bottom of the device, this is where the uh, battery will go and the SD card, I believe, so it just pops into there. You've got a little, uh, for your camera mount, so you can hook it onto a tripod. And it is metal, so it's not a plastic one, which is always nice. And I think that's about it for taking around the device. This is actually a focus ring, so you can actually change it. You can actually have, a, you can make it different things, but I'm probably going to have it for focusing. So I'm probably going to use it on that one there. But that's about it. Again, I'm not, a, I'm not a big massive photography nut. I've read a lot of things. I've seen a lot of things. And this camera seems to be the bee's knees for what I want it for. Awesome video, which is my main aspect. But it's also good for as just a normal quick point and shoot without having to do all the manual settings. You can do the manual settings if you want to. But I probably won't be using those. Who knows? I may learn how to use them and use them better. But for now... This is the RX100 M2. Yes, the Mark II version unboxing. What do you reckon? I've got to admit, it feels awesome. I can't wait to get playing with it. I'll have a video testing the channel pretty damn soon. Anyway, people, I'm going to get off. If you've got any questions about this that you think I might be able to answer, then, as always, leave those comments down below. And tell me what you think about the MX2, or even the normal RX100, the Mark MX2, the Mark I or the Mark II. Do you think I've wasted my money, or do you think it's a good purchase? As always, let me know in those comments down below. While you're there, then please hit the like button. It really does help. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Why? Because it's free. Why not? Anyway, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.